So hi everyone, um, I just invested in an iPad, a newer iPad. Well, I had the iPad 9th generation, and now I upgraded to the iPad Air 4 or 5. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm just happy to have an iPad that I can use to um, do more stuff with my other platform, like go on Canva, edit my thumbnails, and have like little graphics on my um on my videos and stuff and i also like that i'm able to get um look have a bigger screen to look at on um, book brush so that i can be able to um make some graphics for my um about my book jar of positivity which is which we're on the page right now of day one and the quote that i had and and what i put in there so yeah so hi everyone, I just realized that I can use my iPad Air to use it as a second monitor to write my, um, finish my self edits for my book. Um, once I figured out Microsoft Word and put in my username and password, it was seamless for me to be able to find my document that had my book in it. And it's been working good ever since, so I'm I'm happy about that. So I have a question um, for you writers and authors. Do, you, do When you were writing your book, did you add in more stuff as the time went on? And did your word count go up because of it? Because I am trying to um, add more stuff to the book because I feel like some areas are lacking. And especially, cha I mean, chapter 7 is not really lacking. It's when the pivotal part of her being in the hospital happens, but, like, um, I'm just wanting to know, like, what do you think about that, and if you went through the similar thing, too, with having more, uh, having to add more scenes into your story, and having some plot holes, like, wait a minute, what happened to this person in this book, why this person in the end is not even in there, or maybe I can spin it off and make it into a series, I'm not too sure about that, but I'm just thinking, um, I don't know if you if you're also in into making series for your book. How did you go about doing that? And was it like a spur of a moment type of thing where you realized that like some questions in your book, your previous book was unanswered, so you just decided to like make it into an a second book? Well, I don't know, cause like I have another work in progress that project SFO, and I'm just wondering like if I should. If, um, if I should continue that. But I really like that story as well because it's about a heartbreak. But I don't know. We'll see. It seems like AI-generated stuff gets a bad rap. So just let me know what your ideas and thoughts about it is. Because I'm, I am trying to have like a cover designer in the future so i'm i just use this picture as an example i may i use the ai cover um not cover image generator and it helps me a whole lot so let, let me just know your thoughts on if you would use ai to create your book cover i think the ai picture generator is is very useful because it helps me to figure out how I wanted my person to look like before I invest into a, um, a, a cover designer. But I don't know. It's it's still nice and I like it. And this is just like the sample of what I want it to look like. But I want to invest in a cover designer so that she can bring that image to life. And also she can also do like character art in the book I don't know if I want character art in the book or if I just want character art in general but I don't know so right now I'm on chapter eight and I feel good about this chapter is the aftermath of what happened to Afua in being in the hospital and everything that comes with it so now it's just people asking her questions like what happened to you and her responding and like her opening up when she feels like she needs to open up to these people so like it feels good to be at this spot um i have two more chapters after this and i'm just feeling like wow i've almost am um, done with my self edits which i am proud of myself for for being more determined to to finish it but i feel like i am almost i'm almost like getting distracted on almost to the point where i am getting distracted and stuff so i need to work on that but other than that i feel like i am good 
And I have um, my iPad Air, so it's helping me to stay focused. And I found out a way that on Microsoft Word, so I downloaded an app on my um, iPad, and I've been using the um, the app to help me out with writing the book and stuff like that. So it's been good, but um, I just need to keep going and believe in myself that, hey, girl, you can do this. So I just need to um, be more mindful of myself and just encourage continue to encourage myself because I know I can do it I know I can finish it even if it's not by February 29th like I had imagined I still I still can finish it probably by March 5th or something like that so it's not not a problem so I have a question how many edits do you think it takes before you feel like your book is ready for publication because I'm just wondering like is it like do you use do you do like five edits or several rounds of edits like how many how much do you think is enough for a person because I just want to know um I am I am on my I think second or third round of edits and it's just me doing it by myself but I haven't gotten an editor yet but I know that once I get an editor then my feelings will change about my book because of based on their feedback but I don't know just let me know about that So hi everyone, I just am coming back again to let you know that I'm on chapter 9 and I feel so good about it because I've worked so hard on the um, self-edits and I I didn't give up on myself. So that means that we have one more chapter after this. So we'll see how things progress if I'll finish, be able to finish the last two chapters. But I'm so happy that I am almost done with the book. And I would like to take the time out to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel, for engaging with my channel, and even liking it or commenting in in any kind of way. So, like, I'm really thankful for that, and I just hope that we just grow, um, get better from here. I am so excited to tell you all that I am on chapter 10. So I'm on the final chapter of the book, and you and to think I was doubting myself, like, I wouldn't finish... But I ended up finishing it. So we we are on the home stretch. We're doing the whole thing that we were supposed to be doing. And I'm just I'm proud of myself for actually accomplishing my goal of finishing the self edits before February 29th. And I thought I wasn't going to finish. But see, good things happen when you are hardworking and you trust in you and believe in yourself. If you liked my video, give it a big thumbs up and comment book emojis. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a video.